hello great people welcome back to our channel we are so excited to have you again anytime ugm is mentioned in the southeast virtually all the police formation uh, military formation seems to be quaking because of them being known to be the target of this ugm but right now the presidency have spoken to the inspector general of police giving him a fresh order in respect to those who are fond of raising down police formation all over Nigeria. But guess what? When we're talking about this particular issue, I, I know that uh, what comes to people's mind mostly is, uh, you know, the South East, because uh, if we want to begin to count how many police stations that have been raised down in a so short a period of time, it can get up to 20 because uh, they are hitting, starting from Imo State down to Nambra and virtually all the southeastern state and even the south-south state have had uh, a touch from, you know, the UGM. But um, we are going to look at what President Buhari have to tell IGP. And this time around, he's very serious as he has even gone as far as congratulating his decision on those who are found with weapons but before we do that if you're not subscribed to our channel kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos according to the news buhari says he has charged the igp to rebuild the morals of officers of the nigerian police force buhari said these in lagos on thursday june 10 2021 at the handing over of security equipment by the state governor Baba Jide Sangwolu to the police command. The president said he has charged the IGP to review the morale of officers of the Nigerian police force following the recent spite of attacks on police officers and police station. According to him, and I quote, he said, I have charged the inspector general to leave no stone unturned in rebuilding the morale of his officers and men, especially in the aftermath of the mindless violence associated with the ANSAS protests, as well as the recent spat of attack on police station in some part of the country. A nation that turned its police personnel and infrastructure into target of violence and destruction is a nation on the path of self-destruction. We will act firmly and decisively against any and all persons fomenting or carrying out attack on our police formation and other security personnel. The president also said his order to security agents to shoot anyone found with AK-47 is still in place. He emphasized that his primary responsibility was to ensure the safety of all Nigerians. According to him, he said, let me also use this opportunity to reiterate my directive to security agencies to shoot any person or persons found illegally wielding AK-47 and other assault weapon remains in place. As Commander-in-Chief, my primary responsibility remains the security of the country and the safety of all citizens. Despite the many challenges we are facing, I want Nigerians to be rest assured that we will secure this country. We will secure our infrastructure, our highways, our communities, and our forests, and we will secure the lives of our people. It will be recalled that in March, in the president had directed security agencies to go into the bushes and shoot whoever they see with weapon like AK-47, President, President Shaw spokesperson Gaba Shah, who discussed this in an interview with the BBC, said the President has ordered a clamp down on bandits who have refused to surrender. Mm, this is uh, this one. I don't even know who is being targeted here, but the President has cleared the A on this issue. And uh, right now he is sending them out as IGP strengthening him to make sure they go after those who are fond of burning down police station. Now, this particular act is most frequent, uh, you know, in the south-south and the southeast. And UGM is always the ones 
doing it and whenever they do it they are also out to see how they can get more of the weapon but you know the presidency has not come out so strong to speak concerning these issues like this and this time around he's been very serious about it you know when we're talking about this also we have to consider one of the things that i expected that uh, the president as he's boasting their morale should also talk to them about is the issue of restoring back their dignity you know because what is warranting all of this is the fact that unfortunately the police force in nigeria have traded their dignity in the place of collecting offerings I call it offering because that is most of the time what they say. Collecting offerings on the main road. You know, it's one of the security agencies that have really shocked Nigerians. To say to a point, all of them will be talking about having target for the day and all of that. You'll be so shocked that you're driving on the road, you see 10 or let me say 5 policemen. And their purpose is getting money from you. That thing has made them to you know, lose their self-respect. Because ordinary, I can't imagine that policemen or this guy, this UGM, will gather so much strength to even go straight to the police station, you know, to raise it down. It's unthinkable. And, uh, you know, this whole thing also points to the fact that it's not just the UGM that are doing these things, or they, they did not just sit back and gain so much power in doing it. It's because there are people inside there who are, you know, playing these games with these guys. You understand? So, apart from just boosting their morale, they have to understand that the fundamental human right of the people must be respected, and not just respecting our fundamental human right. They need to see how they can you know, control their greed towards collecting money from civilians. It, it doesn't make, it, it doesn't tell good of them, you know. And uh, one of the things to which has brought down their morale had been the fact that most of them do not even have enough weaponry to, you know, fight some of these issues that are pending. But before I go into further discussion, i like to look at what Nigerians have to say about these Standing instruction given by presidency again, and also his uh, instruction to the IGP about the morale of his officers. And this the first person here is a Jonah. He says here, this is not important for now. What we need is boosting our security system such that they will combat situations both in the South South and other regions of Nigeria. This instruction sounds as if it's going straight to the Southeast. Mm, I saw you. And that, that is true because most of what we are hearing is more important. You know, another thing that I want to say here is uh, the president must also show Nigerians that he is uh, not just dealing with people, you know, in the Southeast. We must also look at, you know, the Southwest because uh, the, the the presence of this guy is getting stronger there. Talking about the Fulani haters. Right now, Ondo State is really, really shaky. Shaky in the sense that there are some people who have come into the town with the purpose of disrupting the peaceful atmosphere of Ondo State. And right now, it's, it's putting goose pimples on the bodies of people because... They're like, man, what is going on? And God, guess what? Despite all that is happening in the South, it's nobody seems to be talking about it. My expectation was as the president has visited Lagos, at least those are some of the important messages or important um, issues that should bother his uh, visit. At least let him take out time to talk about this issue of uh, Fulani has been clashed with the communities that host them. You know, because, for example... What is making Iganga very hot is because these guys, though they pretend to be doing their business of raining animals, they are also inflicting pains on the host community. And those host community are fighting back. And it's, it, it's getting tougher by the day. The government needs to wake up and not just to talk to police again, but also correct those things. And the issue of this uh, weaponry that virtually all Fulani haters are holding 
they should also view momentum towards arresting all of this. Because it's not just to be talking to the hawk alone. You should also talk to, you know, the chicken. I like to.